All right, the community is rallying around a student athlete who is fighting for his life tonight. He's a senior. His name is Cartier Woods, and he collapsed on the basketball court during a game at Northwestern High School. CBS Detroit's Andres Gutierrez joins us live from Henry Ford Hospital on Grand Boulevard. Andres. Rochelle, he was rushed here soon after his heart stopped beating. I spoke to the cousin of the victim just a few minutes ago, and she told me that he remains in the ICU tonight hanging on. The coaching staff at Northwestern High jumped in immediately to give Cartier Woods CPR after he suffered a sudden cardiac arrest on the basketball court Tuesday. Doctors at Henry Ford Health brought the student athlete back to life, but he hasn't woken up. It's very hard to see him like that. I, I would have never thought that it would be him. CBS Detroit spoke to the chief cardiologist at DMC Harper Hospital, who points out there are signs before a person's heart gives out. The athlete may complain, um, you know, a few minutes to several minutes before the event of chest pain or exhaustion or dizziness, lightheadedness, feeling unwell. And I think these signs should be taken seriously. He adds in a large heart can be a trigger. So is this. One has to think of anomalous origin of the uh, coronary arteries. Sometimes they come in from the wrong places. They get compressed, especially when an athlete is uh, exerting him or herself. Then that would actually lead to no blood flow into that segment of the heart that can lead into an arrhythmia too. The circumstances around this case have some thinking about Damar Hamlin, the Buffalo Bills player who survived a sudden cardiac arrest last month. The event reminding people why an AED is so important. Sudden cardiac arrest is a leading cause of death in young athletes. According to the CDC, about 2,000 people under the age of 25 die each year because of it. Detroit Public Schools said Thursday they're asking for everyone's continued prayers that Woods makes a full recovery. We, we love you, Cardi. Just get up. All you got to do is wake up. We're here when you wake up. Now, it is important to note that there was an AED at Northwestern High School when this occurred, as is the case in most Michigan schools. The state's high school activities association does require all head coaches of each high school team to have a current CPR certification. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Andres Gutierrez. Andres, I think what stands out to so many people is that this is someone who is clearly young in high school, an athlete. That cardiologist you spoke with, did he share anything about the chances for survival for young people who suffer this? He did, Rochelle, and a big factor is how quickly can you get oxygen back to the brain uh, once the event happens. The quicker you do, the likelihood that he, you do survive goes up. The other thing is age. The younger you are, you also have a better chance of surviving. And that's why you talked about those AEDs. Andres, thank you. Well, Wayne County is where you will find Andres Gutierrez digging to find the stories that matter most to you. He is on your block around the clock.